what's unique about this lab is that it's an open sandbox for our partners. We want them to be able to go from an idea to proof of concept and gain the necessary knowledge to know what they should implement and how they should implement so they can accelerate the use of AI. And what we do here is really facilitate various types of experimentation, testing, learning, uh, new ways to fail, new ways to succeed. And we do that in a collaborative fashion. We say, invest together and share with many. When it comes to AI projects, you also want to make sure that it scales. And you want to test something close by to where you are, where you have people, where you have uh, equipment. And then you want to be able to distribute that maybe globally to all the other environments that you have. So I think that's one of the biggest winning themes of having the, being here at the testbed. Since we're a startup developing tools for, for edge learning, specifically federated learning, I mean, having an infrastructure like the Edge Lab uh, is really invaluable. It's a place where we can test our software in real production-like environments and collaborate with some of the best um, enterprises in Sweden on this. The technology we're exploring here um, solves a number of paradoxes that we've seen in, in traditional AI training. Traditional AI training, you have a data center somewhere, you send all the data there and you train on some large computer and you get your model at the end of the day. In edge learning, we move the algorithms to the edge, to cars, to satellites, to hospitals, and we use the compute power that's available out there. It's a lot less data we have to ship, we don't have to be concerned about sending sensitive data from the field back to a data center, across country borders and so forth. And we actually train in the devices. We see this as a game changer in developing autonomous driving software in the future. A very exciting area that we are working on as well is space. So we have projects, uh, for instance, where we are uh, developing AI models on board of satellites in a federated fashion. This is relevant, for example, for Earth observations, where we aim at creating an alert or about, for instance, uh, forest fires. It enables, um, for example, hospitals to collaborate around data that they could not do in the past. We now see interest from the financial sectors, the banks that uh, have not been able to collaborate before to combat financial crimes. So it's absolutely changing or opening up things that haven't been available in the past. I think the speciality around this lab is that it's actually not uh, just multi-industry uh, collaboration on paper, but in fact, I mean, if you take a look on all the logos, companies and customers involved, it is really uh, a universal approach to AI development. And it is very thrilling to see how a community brings uh, AI into life. This lab is available wherever you are in the world. So we're seeing a large interest internationally uh, for this lab. And a lot of companies want to explore how far can we push it. And every year we see new possibilities opening up as the technology develops. It's uh, cutting edge, it's interesting. You uh, get to meet a lot of incredible people who, who really know what they do uh, and just see what's going on in technology and the future. Great fun, great fun. Uh, I love it. <laughs>